Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Atelier Ryza 2. For today, I figured out where to get the last two items for the last two side stories we still need to complete. The one of Cassandra and the one of Dennis. Uh, apparently, when I was making all the recipes we haven't made before, like the evolution through it and stuff like that, and looking through every store in town, I found the same diamond, which is basically a recipe made from one of the earlier items we have. See if you can find it real quickly. This goes from Emberlight to Sprite Knight to Saint Saint's Diamond, and that's what we needed for Dennis's one and the Soul Flower. It's at Romy's store. We can use golden coins to get it. So I bought one, which resulted in three pieces of that soul flower. So now we have both items we needed to make those things. So I was gonna suggest to make them, do the side stories and finish it all up. If of course that part is the last one, that doesn't necessarily need to be true. Cause look, see, both are ready to be made. And since it's of course a story related thing, there, I, I don't see a reason to uh, make the resin actually better. We could, but what would be the reason? Uh, let's see, let's, let's give it... A little bit extra, so it's at least over a hundred. All right. And the thing is, if you could use this uh, for your own, for like your own farm, then it would be great. That that's then you would have a reason to up the quality of everything. But since it's for the story, the story doesn't care. And there it is. All right, so more fertilizer ready to be delivered. Great discovery of it. I think that's Dennis, yes. All right, so. Let's go to their shop and farm and deliver it and see what's going to happen. Alright, just deliver it. ライザの作ってくれたこの道具は普通の道具じゃ傷をつけるだけでも大変だったのにこんな簡単に削ることができるなんてどう錬金術ってすごいでしょああ感動したよこれなら道にか完成させられそうだライザにはいろいろ面
じじゃないかなお待たせ頼まれてた肥料持ってきたよすごいな栄養剤の時も思ったけどほんとあっという間に作るよね褒められるのは嬉しいけどこれでダメだったら私かっこ悪いな協力してもらってダメだったら私の方もかっこ悪いと思うんだけどねその時は2人仲良くかっこ悪く次の方法考えようよ Oh no, did this gotta work? The soul flower is too rare. <laughs> 楽しそうだけどできればちゃんと育ってほしいな当然その方がいいに決まってるけどね私もさこれをちゃんと育てられたらライザに聞いてもらいたいことがあるしなんだろう相談か何かまだ秘密だってばちゃんと育つの祈ってて<laughs> The most regenerative uh, regener regenerative Item with prop. It's really hard to do English sometimes, but yeah, the best healing item ever. That's what she's gonna create and gonna give to us, isn't it? <laughs> All right, and uh, talking about healing items, I finally made an item that's better than the grass beans. Apparently, uh, the dry biscuits that uh, we already got like ages ago is basically delivered to us around the same as grass beans. Uh, with the breaking of the materials, making it one stage higher, we now have here a dry biscuit with healing taste L and feeling full L plus three upgrades to the healing capacity. I tested it out. It heals between 250 and 300 HP per use for one CC. And it will recover some of your break gauge and give you regenerative properties so you'll recover like what is it like 10 percent per uh, round so yeah big improvement so i gave it to everyone uh, to have so yeah really happy with that because we are the point of the game that you really are starting to need that you want that healing item that once you use it they are completely full again and not that you need two or three times to fill up their gauge so they can uh, withstand the next attack at best, you want to use it three times so that everyone is healed fully and be done with it. And this is it. Because with the dry biscuit giving us region on the character, having the automatic region we already have with the accessory we have, yeah, you will cover it really, really quickly. So yeah, I think uh, now with the new armor, the new weapons, accessories, and this healing item, I think we're more than ready to what's uh, gonna come ahead. And it's gonna be hard. It really is. So, two stories. Everything in here is done. Uh, I am going to go to the atelier. I do want to sleep because usually when you sleep, you can progress the story a little bit. And it doesn't happen. We're gonna go into the dungeon. Because I, I do believe that Cassandra and Dennis both have at least one more story part in them. Yes. And in regard to the area, we need one more clue to open up the compass, and that is, I think, this one Shining Hope Staff. So I'm thinking it's going to be in one of the chests we haven't opened yet. And of course, like always, after that we can start collecting pieces and probably also uh, some kind of recipe. And I'm thinking it's going to be in one of the chests behind uh, the scene we're about to watch. And of course, after we got uh, the compass open, we're going to go fast forward over all the ruin fragments and vestiges, like always. Hey, same white tree. なんかやけに霧というか、もやがかかってない。この辺り。何か仕掛けがあるかもしれねえな。いや、that's the proper Felicia from Rise of One。よーい、そんなのも。電気に立ちすぎて、素材になるのかしら。<laughs> 
Divine Branch. Wasn't that a unique item before? That we use for story progression? Hmm. Is it though? It is. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It is. Because this isn't here in our basket, so is it the key item then? Hmm. Grant the floration. Yeah, that's the weapon for Sari that we've already made for ourselves. See. Where do we need to be now? All the way at the end. Alright, let's do it. I just want to check out if there's anything new here. A new clearing point we haven't seen before. Oh, I was hoping by calling him. I could avoid this combat, but it's fine. As you can see, power-wise, you have absolutely no problem anymore. It's just those scorpion beings that uh, walk around here. For some reason, they are so much stronger than any of the other uh, enemies uh, in this place. That's how you deal with them. You can see they're focusing on Sari all the time. Yeah, and you can see you are at the end of the dungeon cause it's so easy to level up now. It really is. I wonder what's in the middle, actually. You know what this is? Curiosity killed the cat? Okay, so it looked like it was a slide, and not a stairway. Now, I bet that's gonna be the place where uh, one of the fragments will be. Look at that. Looked like an actual golem there. この辺り何だか妙だな。作りが他と違う気がするぜ。何か不思議な感じがするよね。無理やり作られた壁というか。Yeah, like we said before, it's just a door they put in front of the gate to close it. あたりは霧も Okay. So we need to go back to the tree. Hmm. We haven't found the staff yet, so the compass is not open. 
Yeah, I think it's better to just go back to the beginning. Could be a lot, lot uh, more shorter walk that way. Ooh, maybe we'll find a staff in the furnace that will automatically activate it. Okay, it's not activating, so do we need to go back and make it first? Would explain why we got the divine branch in the first place. Do we still have everything we need to make it? Yes, we do. Dream powder, yes. And wind. Oh no, I need to multiply the wind first. No. Yeah, I'm so happy with those elements. I do not want to craft them again. And another piece of fire root. So if I'm correct, we should be able to burn it here, but creating something in the pot open up the two new scenes uh, for Dennis and Cassandra. So you know what? Uh, I'm gonna save that for the next uh, uh, episode because we will need to find the staff. Then we still need to find all the fragments and fetishes. We have plenty of time to do it before we're done with this dungeon. And I'm really curious to see what uh, is gonna happen when we burn this. Will the mist uh, go away? Will it show us another place with another chest? Because if, if, if there's another object blocking our way where we need to find all the pieces, we do need to find that stuff or else we are stuck. And this is the first time that we actually should key at him twice. Oh no, we did so the same thing with the bridge uh, plan. Yeah. Hmm. Never happened in Ryzen 1. なんか徐々にだけど霧が晴れていってる気がするねどうやら当たりみたいだな同じからくりだったってわけだ同じからくりならあの不自然な岩場にも何か変化が起こってるんじゃないかここまでいろんな仕掛けを用意する理由ってな
Yes, it all opened up and the corridor is blocked with monsters everywhere. That's uh, fine. Not the worst thing I've ever had to deal with. Ooh. I think someone sprung a leak somewhere. Is there any gathering points down here? Nope, it's just pure water. That's it. Just a normal rubble you see anywhere. It's basically two doors leading to the same way, isn't it? And we've got two chests here and a big open circle. That really looks like a boss area or something like that, doesn't it? Definitely a discovery point. Yeah, just checking out the locations, the gathering points, see if it's anything worthwhile. I feel like the middle door was the one we needed to go ahead with the story, so I'm very much intrigued to see where this actually leads. I'm still hoping... Dunkle High? Because Dunkle High is the only plant we haven't seen yet, oh, yeah. and of course the soul flower. What's the black mist when we go through it? It's weird. Is it like poisonous or something? Well, there's definitely a chance of us uh, needing to go back here at some point. It's the underworld. This is I wonder if Fi is feeling better in this area. If it's so overflowing with the essence of the underworld. story is in the next room but uh, we're definitely gonna go for the two chests because I want to open up the compass you know you guys know I want to do that so how to get there yeah it's really weird that they put up like three different skins of the same monster through this dungeon instead of uh, dividing it over the multiple different screens that, 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 that's big boy. I'm supposed to get this chest. No, nope, he's not allowed to because it's a slider. So once we do that, we cannot go back. Alright. Damn, we can just walk past it. Whew. All of the stone statues. Nice. 
And there it is. <laughs> Time for us to go hunting. <laughs> right behind me, the first one. Alright. So, what we're gonna do, I think... I will probably leave it for the next episode to start off with collecting all these pieces. So right now we can just do another bit of the story, so we can get to the next screen. Unless, of course, we uh, come across one right in front of our face, we, we don't need to leave it there. A guiding star charm. Fire four decks? Warrior's Memory 7. Finally, it's complete. This great fairy stone can house even human souls. It will help us save many of our friends. Perhaps, yet, it's somewhat ironic that we complete it just as the end of the war draws near. Yes. The Soul Cradle, nice. Probably where we are right now. Oh yeah. This looks like a gaze room, but also a very infected one. Look at that. It's amazing. Look how beautiful. But yeah, I'm a sucker for color red. If you've been long enough in the channel, you probably noticed that. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm feeling here is that uh, based upon the last few dungeons we've been to, that if you go towards a certain point, which I, this seemed like the last chamber, and one discovery fragment is probably at the end of it, that we come across a boss and we automatically fight it. So what I'm thinking right now is, is to end the episode and start the next one off uh, by going through this entire room. If we come across a boss, we'll be ready to defeat it fully. I think we're capable of it, right? With all the preparation we did, we at least stand a chance. The question is, how much of a chance that's gonna be, of course. Alright. So, right here, underneath the stairs, towards the underworld. We're gonna leave it here for today. Next episode, we're going to continue on to the end of it, towards the gate, see if we can uh, close it or not, defeat anything what potentially is in front of it. And who knows, maybe we're going to go through it and see what's on the other side, like we did at Rapture 1. We went through it, defeat the bat there, and then close the gate behind us, I guess. And also, of course, next time we got all the pieces uh, for this dungeon. All the room fragments and vestiges that we need to collect. So, plenty of things to do, but that's going to be next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.